Hi guys, welcome to MrLopezClasses.com. Today we are going to talk about a special project. It's the, the installation of a, a new generator in a Century 34 feet. The boat was sunk completely in the water. However, uh, the opener refloated the boat and recovered the boat. But uh, the opener um, did a wrong process. Why I say that the process was no good? Because uh, he decided to uh, replace the Apple Story, the Tika, new one. The first step, replace all of those accessories. In my opinion, this is wrong. They put new Tika, new Apple Story, wonderful Apple Story. However, the electrical part, the mechanical part, the, the hydraulic part, after that, that's not good. However, we cover with the cardboard all the parts we install cardboard covering the Tika and uh, covering the Apple Story, protecting those expensive parts. Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about the procedure to remove and replace the old generator and replace for the new one. Internally, everything was destroyed for the water. Let me recheck the boat internally. Oh, you yeah. see, you see the corrosion oh, yes. on, on oh, the yeah. unit. Oh yeah, that's pretty. It's, it's destroyed completely, no? Oh yeah. Okay, we are going to uh, replace that air conditioning unit. What about the ducts? Any are those ducts? No, that's just uh, stairs. No, this is. Uh, and look at this. What is this? Uh, uh, um, oh, Yoli. that's the water. That's the um, the anti siphon heard, of uh, which element? The generator. The generator. This where is the, the anti siphon. Exhaust, where the exhaust um, join is. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's the anti siphon. And uh, can you uh, approximate your camera over there because I need the uh, I need the information. Uh, exactly. That's good. Okay. All right. We're we are going to replace oh, for another one exactly yeah. the same. Sure. Uh, okay. That's perfect. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. And uh, look at the ducts. The ducts are full of water. Oh, you yeah. see? Oh, they yeah. they yeah. are fully, fully, fully of water. It's full of water, you see? We are going yeah. to replace those ducts completely. And uh, mm. look at this. Those are the white cables, the, 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 the wiring coming from the panel. Right. Uh, yeah. I think that we will be easy, the replacement of this. Can you can you take a, a, a <laughs> an approximation? Look at this. All of the outlets are corroded, fully corroded. We are going to replace that. And uh, this is the battery charger. Oh, the battery charger should be replaced also. Yeah. Uh, this is the capacity, exactly, all right? That's the capacity. We are going to replace for other battery charger exactly the same, all right? The same characteristics. Ready? Yeah. And look at the refrigerator. Look at the refrigerator. Oh, wow. Wow. Because the water, the water penetrates everything. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, take a picture. How long was this boat underwater for? Uh, I think that it was uh, uh, three days, two days, three days. Wow. But this is enough to destroy everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and look at the at this. Lights. This is completely. We, we need to replace all of those, all of those uh, uh, units, no? With LED probably now this time, Correct. right? Correct. And uh, look at this. Look at the outlets. The outlets. Oh, yeah. The outlets fully corroded. We need to replace those outlets. And the microwave. Yeah. Uh, if you see internally, we have uh, two outlets. Yeah. Two outlets. And uh, and uh, we have uh, an other DC outlet. Uh, we have uh, two speakers over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have uh, three, four, five lights. Five lights. Look, you see? Mm -hmm. We are going to replace those lights. And in the bathroom, Oh no, that's catastrophic. Light. The, the light, look at the mechanics, is completely corroded. Oh yeah. You Man, see? Three days, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. As you can see, all the parts are destroyed. Air condition, the bathroom, the refrigerator, everything. 
Look at the, the DC switch selector and the DC panels. Wow, well, look at that. Yeah, it's fully, fully corroded. They replaced those switch selectors. Those switch selectors are new ones. We are going to reuse those switch selectors. Okay, and uh, what is this? Ah, look, uh, this is uh, this is the main breaker. Uh, uh, this is the main AC breaker after the outlet outside, you see? Oh, yeah, okay. And uh, that one have a polarity in order to verify mm -hmm. if the pedestal mm -hmm. have uh, the proper polarity. Because uh, I think that the switches are okay, but uh, the harness, the harness. Yeah, well, I was all the switches. Yeah. This is the DC part, no? This is the main DC panel, and this is the DC suit panel on the console. We are going to verify, uh, we are going to remove that one and verify the condition. Should be similar to this one, right? Destroyed. We replaced. We did the wiring, new wiring, DC and AC. We replaced all of those switches, all of those breakers. Look at the AC panel. You have a AC voltage, mm -hmm. the voltmeter. Uh, you have uh, the selector uh, because this boat is single is single phase you see it's single phase hot and neutral okay so if it was a uh, three phase it'd be three uh correct three of these. Okay. no with three phase that one with double phase that one is three okay with double phase with double phase okay look how you know if a boat is single phase is because in the panel you found that the led for reverse polarity Mm, okay. Because it's single phase. Okay. Uh, this is an indication that the boat is single phase. Okay, and we are going to replace uh, the generator for a new one. We are going to try to replace the generator for other one, the same manufacturer, Massé, okay. in okay. order to use the same remote panel. Mm. Because the remote panel is expensive, it's like a $800. We are going mm. to try to use the same one, right? Okay. We are going to use the same panel and uh, we are going to change the breakers that uh, are damaged probably oh, okay 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 no, just change. Yeah, no yeah, yeah. all of them are damaged and uh, we are going to replace the wire the cable the Y one mm -hmm. from this point until the generator okay you know we are going to change all the wiring we are going to do the wiring new one okay I am happy because this panel is nice this panel is nice and the remote panel of the generator is good in other words we are going to use the same panels and we are going to change only the wires okay. ready okay that's good that's as you can see in the AC panel, we have a, in the middle, instead of a switch selector, we have a couple of breakers. One breaker for generator and other breaker for a short power. And in the left side, we have a, the panel. However, we replace all the breakers, all the breakers, all the wiring, and uh, we replace the wiring from the panel to the outlet, AC outlet, and we install new galvanic isolator and new battery charger. You remember the battery charger? In bad condition. Okay. This is the AC panel, and uh, we replace uh, the breakers. I, I, I paint the panel in front, and I did the labels new ones. The panel at the end was perfect. Great, great job. Okay. This is the situation uh, with the AC panel, and uh, also on, on the right side, you see the, the panel for the generator. We install new panel, because the new generator, we installed the same generator, but the, the new version, the panel was uh, different. We installed the new panel, and we installed a new panel for the air condition equipment. We installed a Mabru uh, air condition unit, uh, 7,000 BTUs. Okay, what happened with the generator? Let me show to you where was located originally the generator. You see, in that corner, the generator was located originally, coming from the factory, century. The generator is in the transom of the boat, in the center in, of the bilge, in the bottom, in the transom. When the boat accelerate, normally you have water in the bilge. When the boat accelerate, all the water is coming back and damage the generator. This is a worse design. For that reason, I decide to move the generator from that place to 
the entrance of that uh, hatch practically at the level of the of the deck we install aluminum brackets like you see in the picture and on those brackets we put a an special uh, plywood laminated with fiberglass that was the process of lamination and uh, we put the, the 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 platform over there and over the platform we installed the new generator that was uh, the procedure okay the first step was uh, verify uh, the, the conditions to remove the generator and uh, and uh, clean all the areas all the accessories remove uh, beach pumps remove uh, hydraulic units let me show to you what happened with the trims uh, uh, hydraulic unit uh, the oil was full of water and that was the situation in this particular case because uh, the oil was mixed with water is that what it is? It's not, it, it, it doesn't seem milky though. Yeah. That's milky? It's, mil it's, okay. mil it's milky and it's uh, gel, you see? Gel. Gel means water. Yeah, here. exactly. Okay. You see, it's not... We need to flush the system completely. If not, yep. the, the power steering system will not work. Alright? Yep. It's completely gel. We remove all of those parts the fuel tanks are completely uh, full of water in this particular boat we have uh, two fuel tanks fuel tanks for gasoline outboard engines and other fuel tank that one for diesel uh, the tanks are in good condition we flush the tanks we clean the tanks and uh, of course we install the tanks proper uh, we create a new bonding system with a new sacrificial anode in the transom to connect all the electrical, all the metallic parts connected to the bonding system. That the project was a complete project. This one was the procedure uh, to remove the generator from the hull. The generator externally looks like a no problem. You see that looks good, but uh, when you remove uh, the the sun shield of the generator, this is the situation. This boat was completely submerged in water. The water penetrated the back end, the engine. We have a lot of uh, positive corrosion. That's not good. This engine is garbage, the generator is garbage. Okay, we are going to start to remove uh, the anti-siphon lines the exhaust lines and uh, yeah we are going to pull out this engine and this one was the process to remove that generator We have the generator outside and uh, we start with the measurements taking measurements to verify if the new generator could be located on top in the in the new location look the maximum length wow. should be 23 okay. and this is the space that we have 15. we have a uh, 15 we have a uh, 15 by 23 that's the maximum space yes at the end uh, 
we ordered the generator, the new generator is a Masse generator 4.0. I ordered the new one from the factory and uh, I checked the conditions uh, before we start the generator in the new place. Before we start with the installation on the engine room, uh, we need to take uh, different considerations. Uh, one of the considerations is uh, about the fuel lines, uh, the fuel, the input, and the return. Uh, because uh, depending on the location of the generator, we need to install the fuel filter, the water separator filter, and uh, for fuel, and the other one for raw water. And also, we need to prepare the conditions to install the elbow for the exhaust. In this particular case, we have a, a little room. Uh, for that reason, we need to calculate the exhaust. Considerations, the exhaust, the fuel, the raw water, the anti-siphon. In this particular case, we don't need anti-siphon because the generator will be located over the water line. And the harness, because remember, we have a DC power for uh, the star motor, and uh, we have uh, the harness, the harness connected with the computer uh, behind of this wall. We need to check the condition where we are going to pass the cables. We are going to, to pass the AC cable coming from the breaker, the AC breaker, and uh, the harness, uh, the AC cables, and the DC cables for the battery. Those three cables should be properly organized, properly uh, rounded with a plastic conductor, and separated from the fuel, separated from the raw water, and separated from the exhaust. Remember, uh, the muffler should be located lower, lower the bottom of the generator in order to avoid, avoid uh, intrusion of salt water. And uh, also in the output of uh, the muffler, we are going to create an, an like a siphon in order to avoid siphon break uh, from uh, salt water. Okay, and this is uh, the, the generator. We are going to check the dimensions. We are going to verify the dimensions according with the space that we have uh, on the engine room. And uh, when, uh, uh, when we are 100% sure about the dimensions, we are going to prepare the brackets to support the generator in the new position. Yes, uh, in this uh, particular case was necessary uh, remove uh, the fuel filters and the raw water filters uh, to other place because right now the generator is at the entrance of the hash. When you open the hash, right now the generator is over there. You don't have access to the hash. For that reason, in the back, in the swing platform of the boat, uh, there is a, a hole and a small hash. And uh, through those hash, I install raw water pump and uh, fuel filters uh, for generator and fuel filter for outboard engine. That was uh, the situation. Here is the window for the service. And we install the raw water filter here and the fuel filter over there. Those are the filters for the engines, the outboards. This is nice because you can do the service. Be careful when you install the raw water filter below the water line. This is the water line of the boat. The filter is located below. And uh, this is the fuel filter coming from uh, the fuel tank. We are ready for the next step in this project. Correct. The raw water filter uh, is located right now below the water line to be a hundred percent sure that the, the, the raw water filter and, uh, and, uh, and the seacock everything located below the water line. Okay, and uh, the fuel filter uh, is located in the right side, in the right side of, uh, of the hull and easy to access, easy to clean the filters, easy to remove the filters for generators, engines, and a, a raw water a system for the generator. This is a great decision. And uh, also, uh, I decide on top, uh, where the generator will be located, uh, create a, a hole. Those are the frames in aluminum that we install, and we create that window. That's the window uh, for the service uh, on the generator because the star motor is located over there. Those are the cables for the future star motor. And uh, we are ready with the data cables and uh, the power cable, hot, neutral, and ground. We are preparing conditions. We are preparing the, the muffler. 
we're going to install them over here those are uh, the true holes for the raw water that was the decision and uh, and uh, and now uh, i have uh, the cable for uh, the tc cable for uh, uh, the star motor and uh, the harness from the from the from the remote panel and the ac cables from the ac panel everything is on top data cables power cables and uh, now i work with the exhaust system to install the muffler below the the level of uh, the generator and uh, the situation was good the installation was a successful installation the generator is uh, running in good condition uh, is uh, 120 volts uh, uh, 60 hertz american power and uh, we install also a new air condition equipment and uh, we replace all of those uh, uh, outlets uh, for electrical ac outlets uh, dc outlets uh, the lights uh, we replace the new dc panel um, for uh, with a new wiring dc and ac that was a great project and uh, and this is a typical situation when you need to take a decision uh, to install a generator in other place remember that the enemy of the back ends in the generator is the water uh, you need to keep the generator in a dry area and be a hundred percent sure that the generator will be dry all the time doesn't matter if uh, if uh, the, you have water in the bilge the generator should be located in a dry space um, that's that design originally was uh, bad because the generator was in the bottom in the bottom of the boat in the back of the boat in the use uh, close to the transom the mm, water is accumulated in that area when the boat is uh, is running that's not good uh, right now in the new position the generator is dry the generator is uh, is, is running good uh, the water entered perfect because uh, uh, the raw water pump is practically at the level at the level of uh, the water line uh, i hope you enjoyed this uh, wonderful episode and uh, in other episode uh, i am going to check um, the troubleshoot of uh, the generator uh, with the generator running